Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Mechanical Engineering Exams Made Simple. Friends, in this video, let us see all questions from the clutch. So, clutch is a basically a mechanical element which is used to engage and disengage gearbox shaft and engine shaft. Okay, to connect these and disconnect these at the will of the operator, that is the driver. So, what are the likely questions that are asked from the clutches? Let us see. From clutch, friends, there will not be any your question paper without the question on the clutch. Clutch is so important in anaerobic transmission. Okay. So, let us see a few very, very crucial questions from this particular topic. A clutch is usually designed to transmit maximum torque which is, what is the correct answer? It is the 150 percent of the maximum engine torque. That is the correct answer. From the equation, uh, let us say P is equal to 2 pi nt by 60,000, P is equal to power, n is the speed and t is the torque, you are going to get the torque which is average torque. So, you have to design the clutch for 50 percent more than this torque which is the average torque. The inertia of the rotating parts of the clutch should be minimum, maximum, zero or none of the above. It should be minimum friends. Inertia should be minimum always. It is uh, uh, required to be minimum. It cannot be zero friends. Any body will have some inertia. So, it has to be minimum. The coefficient of friction for the clutch facing is approximate how much? So, some database questions are also given friends. From this topic, you can expect some database questions. So, so please remember them. So, here the coefficient of friction for the clutch facing is approximately this is 0.4. Right. The maximum value of axial force at the clutch which a driver can apply while driving without getting fatigued is approximately. So, such type of questions are normally asked in your examination. Let us see what is the answer. So, the correct answer for this particular question is 100 newtons. 100, 500, 5000 will be very high, 10 will be very less friends. So, the correct answer is 100. The maximum intensity of pressure which the clutch facing can withstand without being damaged is how much? 10 pascals or 10 kilopascals or 100 kilopascals or 1000 kilopascals. The correct answer is C. Friends, you can expect that all your answers related to your automobile transmission or clutch or lubrication or any. So, they will be in the range of uh, say hundreds of kilopascals, not more than that. Do not go for 1000, answers in thousands or even say two digits, let us say 10, 20, 30 like that. Okay. So, normally I am telling you it is not a hard and fast rule, but definitely you can give the answer around 100, 100 plus. So, three digit answer will be your answer. Right. But in kilopascals, remember it is not in neither in mega pascals nor in pascals. Pascals will be very less, mega pascals will be very high. So, all these ranges will be in kilopascals. So, the correct answer is 100 kilopascals. The clutch is located between the transmission and engine. Uh, okay. So, engine or rear axle, propeller shaft or uh, differential. It is printed as different. It is not different friends, differential. Okay. So, propeller shaft. So, this is going to connect. Uh, what are the two elements which are being connected? So, gearbox and your differential. They will be connected through propeller shaft with uh, a universal giant on left side towards gearbox shaft, towards gearbox side and one more universal giant on the differential side, where there are two universal giant, but in if it is there is only one universal giant, it will be towards the gearbox side. So, the correct answer is A engine so, clutch is to be precise, it is between the flywheel and the gearbox, right. But after the engine, we are going to get the flywheel. So, what is the purpose of a flywheel? It is going to what you call minimize the fluctuations of the engine speed. Right. Some in one way, in one word, it is going to act as a mechanical capacitor. So, during the power stroke, it is going to absorb the, all the energy and during the remaining strokes like uh, suction, compression and power, sorry, and uh, exhaust, it is going to supply the energy to the engine. So, so that there is a uniform speed at the crankshaft. Now, the parts of the cover assembly that hold the pressure plate again is the clutch plate or the, what are these? Are they release levers or thrust bearings or studs or springs? The correct answer is springs. 
right friends all right cushioning springs in a clutch plate are means to reduce so cushioning springs are normally so while engaging and disengaging so your gearbox shaft and um, what you call gearbox shaft and uh, engine shaft okay so there is going to be a lot of uh, vibrations and noise also right so re to reduce these that means to engage and disengage smoothly so these springs are provided so that's why they are called cushioning springs so they are going to what is what they are going to do they are going to uh, what you call reduce the jerky starts jerky starts the thrust bearing should come into contact with the release levers when which situation vehicle is stationary or vehicle is running very fast vehicle is driven very slow or clutch pedal is pressed so when the clutch pedal is pressed the thrust bearing should come into contact with the release levers so that your engine and what you call gearbox are what you call separated that is there is no more power transmission from engine to the gearbox right in a clutch uh, in a clutch will coil springs the with coil springs the wear of the clutch facing will cause the clamping load to it is going to increase or decrease or remain constant or become infinite so become infinite it is absolutely wrong answer so either it should be decreasing or increasing but the correct answer is decreasing right clutch facings are usually attached to the plate attached to the plate by this is about the construction of the clutch friends so construction of clutch is a little bit complicated so there are many mechanical parts like lever springs etc friends so please go through the construction and also watch a animation in youtube you have got number of videos okay friends so please watch one of the videos and so here the clutch facings are usually attached to the plate by what is the correct element here it is brass rivets rivets definitely but they are made of brass brass is an alloy of copper and zinc bronze is an alloy of copper and tin free pedal play in car clutches this is a very good question friends such type of questions were asked in your previous examinations appcs rt spc starting from 2009 uh, then 12 then 15 something like that so various recruitments have taken place in ap and telangana so in telangana the latest recruitment was in 2015 after 8 years it is being conducted and in andhra it was i think 2009 i think check it please 9 or 12 or uh, 18 i think just please check it so there are two three requirements have completed in the uh, state ap and uh, recently in 2015 only uh, recruitment for telangana uh, ama was completed so after 8 years the examination is being conducted so be careful friends this time you can expect the examination to be tough why because you are interview is eliminated earlier interview was carrying 50 marks now it is eliminated so that the the examination will be more uh, will be made more tougher so be prepared for that clutch slip may be caused by excessive free play or insufficient free play or loose rivets or cracked clutch plate what is the correct answer the correct answer is excessive free pedal play that is the correct answer or the correct cause for the clutch slip if the clutch slips there is no there is less transmission from the engine shaft to the gearbox shaft power transmission last question friends clutch drag is caused by what is the problem here is it due to excessive free free, free pedal play or less free pedal play or weak clutch springs or loose rivets the correct answer is excessive free pedal play so friends in this video we have seen some uh few questions from uh, clutches which is a very very important uh, part of your transmission and obey transmission okay so in the next video we are going to come up with or meet with some more questions which are useful for your amv examination tspsc and appsc automobile engineering let us meet in the next video shortly